Whenever you experience an event that triggers a negative emotional response and you don't allow yourself to fully process it, you develop what's called emotional trauma. You now have a memory that every time you recall it, it triggers a negative emotional response. It triggers the emotion that you associated with that experience, with that memory. So you keep reliving the experience again and again every time something causes you to recall that memory. Someone could do something or say something that reminds you of the incident and it triggers that emotional response. Or you could see something that reminds you of it and it triggers that emotional response. Now everybody deals with their emotions differently. A lot of us tend to just suppress our emotions and bottle everything up inside of us. We don't like to deal with them. And then there's some people who are good at expressing themselves. If they feel a certain way, they will make it known. If something's on their mind, they will say it. But they have a hard time letting go. They hold on to resentment. So they may be expressing themselves. They may be discharging the emotion so that it doesn't build up inside of them. But because they're not letting go, it will still continue to come back again and again every time something reminds them of that experience. So either way, you're holding on. You're attached. When you bottle it up, you're obviously holding it inside you, right? But when you express yourself and you don't let go, you're still holding on to it. There's a saying that goes, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. See, when you hold on to these emotional traumas, you allow them to be a part of you and they affect you on every level. Remember, emotions are just energy energy in motion and energy wants to flow but if you don't allow it to flow it creates blocks within your system throwing you out of balance and creating disease on a physical level it can manifest as muscle tension for having to hold that energy in or as aches and pains caused by the blockages on a mental level it will affect your thought patterns which determine your belief system and it affects you emotionally which affects your vibration these trapped emotions become a part of your energy field which determines your vibration which influences what you attract into your life and how people respond to you and all of these things combined also determine the filter through which you see the world if you have a lot of hate and anger bottled up inside of you then you will view the world through a very distorted filter constantly experiencing events that reflect your hate and anger so these traumas influence what you attract into your life, but they also affect how you perceive each experience. Think of these traumas as like anchors, holding you back, preventing you from moving forward. As long as you hold on to these traumas, they will continue to be a part of you. They will continue to be a part of your vibrational field and continue to be a part of your reality. You can't expect to raise your vibration and reach higher states of consciousness if you're harboring all these low vibrational energies. These emotional traumas are weighing you down and holding you back. So you want to get rid of them. But in order to get rid of them, you have to heal from them. See, it's not enough to just express the emotion or feel the emotion. You want to do that. You want to discharge the emotion so it doesn't build up inside of you. But you also have to let it go. If you don't let it go, if you hold on to resentment, even if you discharge the emotion temporarily, it'll just keep coming back again and again every time something causes you to recall that memory. That resentment will just keep recycling back into hate and anger and you'll have to keep reliving that experience. And you just can't forget an experience. You can't erase a memory. Once you experience something, it's stored in your memory. You don't lose it. It doesn't go away. Even when you get older and you start to lose your memory, it doesn't really mean that you're losing your memories. The memories are still there. They're always going to be there. You just lose the ability to access those memories when you start to lose your mind as you get older. Okay, but you can't erase a memory. You can try to repress a memory, you can try to forget it, but it'll just keep resurfacing again and again. So you can't really run from it. It's best that you just deal with it and move on. What you want is to be able to revisit the memory anytime without evoking a negative emotional response. That's when you're healed from it. But in order to heal from it, you have to let go. You have to let go of resentment, and you do that through the power of forgiveness. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, well, I can't forgive this person for what they did to me, or what they said. It's just unforgivable. That's because you're looking at it from the wrong perspective. You attached a negative emotion to the experience because you were looking at it from a negative perspective. Most people tend to play the victim. They think that life is happening to them. They blame others for the bad experiences in their life, rather than realizing that they are creating their own reality. They are attracting everything to them. And this negative perspective causes them to have negative emotional responses to life experiences. So they develop hate, anger, and resentment towards others. Now, if you were to change your perspective, then you change your emotional response. 
I made another video a while back titled Blessings in Disguise, where I explained how all life experiences are actually good. They're either intended to teach us a lesson that will help us in the next step of our journey, or to steer us in a certain direction, or to wake us up and make us realize that we're going in the wrong direction. See, every experience has something to teach you. There's a purpose to everything. Everything happens for a reason. Everything that you go through is preparing you for the next step of your journey. There's wisdom to be gained from each experience. But if you look at it from a negative perspective and you hold on to hate, anger, and resentment, it blocks you from gaining that wisdom. If you experience resistance in your life, if you keep having these bad experiences, then maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe you're going down the wrong path and you need to experience something that gets your attention and wakes you up and makes you change course so that you don't continue going down the wrong path. Now, if you look at it that way, then the bad experiences aren't really bad. They're good. They're blessings in disguise. That's the way you have to look at life experiences. That's the perspective that you should have. Don't automatically label bad experiences as bad. See what you can learn from the experience. See what you can gain from it. Stop seeing it as bad things happening to you and start seeing it as you are being guided. Think of your emotions as an intelligence that gives you guidance on how to navigate through life. It's a feedback system that lets you know if you're on the right track or not. It's like the language of the soul, your inner guidance, and if you listen to it, it will guide you in the right direction. Once you understand that, you'll start to see everything in a different light. You'll start seeing everything from a more positive perspective. You stop seeing people as your enemies or your competition and you start seeing them as your teachers. And when you see them in that way, it becomes a lot easier to forgive and let go. And when you let go, you are free. When you heal from these traumas, when you remove these blocks, you free your energy. You free your spirit. You develop a more positive thought pattern. You dissolve fears. You become more confident. You develop a more positive outlook on life. You start to see the world through a more positive filter. You raise your vibration and you manifest a reality that reflects that. You transform hate, anger, and resentment into gratitude. That is the power of forgiveness.